The ARM Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture, or AMBA, is an open standard on-chip interconnect specification for the connection and management of functional blocks in system-on-a-chip SOC designs. Essentially, AMBA protocols define how functional blocks communicate with each other. Here we can see an example of a SOC design with a number of functional blocks that make use of AMBA for all of these connections. AMBA facilitates the development of multiprocessor designs with large numbers of controllers and peripherals. However, since its inception, the scope of AMBA has, despite its name, gone far beyond microcontroller devices. Today, AMBA is widely used on a range of ASIC and SOC parts, including applications processors that are using devices such as IoT subsystems, smartphones, and networking, and networking SOC. There are a number of benefits of using AMBA. Firstly, AMBA enables efficient IP reuse. IP reuse is an essential component in reducing SOC development costs and timescales. AMBA specifications provide the interface standard that enables IP reuse. This is why thousands of SOCs and IP products are using AMBA interfaces. AMBA also offers flexibility to work with a range of SOCs. IP reuse requires a common standard while supporting a wide variety of SOCs with different power, performance and area requirements. And ARM offers a range of interface specifications that are optimised for these different requirements. A standard interface specification such as AMBA allows compatibility between IP components from different design teams or vendors. And finally, AMBA is well supported. It's widely implemented and supported throughout the semiconductor industry, including support from third-party IP products and tools. Bus interface standards, such as AMBA, are differentiated through the performance that they enable. The two main characteristics of bus interface performance are bandwidth and latency. Bandwidth is the rate at which data can be driven across the interface. In a synchronous system, the maximum bandwidth is limited by the product of the clock speed and the width of the data bus. The second important characteristic is latency. This is the delay between the initiation and the completion of a transaction. Although in a burst-based system, the latency figure can often refer to the completion of the first transfer rather than the burst, depending on the importance to the system. The efficiency of your interface will depend on the extent to which it achieves the maximum bandwidth with zero latency.